and welcome to Our Lady of the Mountains Catholic Parish. Today is Easter Sunday, and our processional hymn is Jesus Christ is Risen Today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We gather here on this glorious Easter Sunday. We gather to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to praise Him and to thank Him. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask God's pardon and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At daybreak on the first day of the week, the women who had come from Galilee with Jesus took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were puzzling over this, behold, two men in dazzling garments appeared to them. 
They were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. They said to them, Why do you seek the living one among the dead? He is not here, but he has been raised. Remember what he said to you while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified and rise on the third day. And they remembered his words. Then they returned from the tomb and announced all these things to the eleven and to all the others. The women were Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Mary, the mother of James. The others who accompanied, accompanied them also told this to the apostles. But their story seemed like nonsense, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, bent down, and saw the burial cloths alone. Then he went home, amazed at what had happened. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. On behalf of the entire parish staff, I'd like to begin by wishing all of you and your families a very blessed and happy Easter. May your celebrations today bring you happiness and joy. You know, the, the celebration of Easter it is always a feast for the census. We see the flame of the Paschal candle, the light of Christ dispelling the darkness of death. We see that the stark, empty sanctuary of Lent, symbolizing fasting and a journey of conversion, it is now filled with flowers transformed with symbols of life and resurrection. We hear the joyous sounds of organ music, and then we delight in again singing Alleluia. And after we renew our baptismal promises, we feel the blessing of holy water, Easter water, a reminder of our participation in Christ's life, death, and resurrection. Even our secular society celebrates. You know, we, we, we decorate our homes with colored eggs, and then we give each other chocolate rabbits and, and marshmallow peeps. These are symbols of life, that new life that we celebrate today. Maybe you're wearing a, a new Easter outfit, a new hat, or new shoes. The practice of getting new clothes at Easter is because of the new garment that the newly baptized received at the Easter Vigil. After being baptized, they're clothed in a white garment. These clothes are symbolic of the new life that they received by virtue of their baptism. The tradition of the Easter parade originated in the Middle Ages. Everyone dressed up to march with the newly baptized in their white garments. And, and they went out and they paraded through town they shared their joy. They shared their faith with all who saw them. And, and even Mother Nature celebrates with us. We celebrate new life, the death of death, and the end of slavery to sin. All we have to do is, is look out our window and we see new life everywhere. Maybe somewhere in your yard, one of the bushes, you have a robin's nest. And then it's filled with little peeps. The trees are in bud, and leaves are breaking out. The spring flowers, tulips and forsythia, are in bloom. And when you walk outside, you feel and you smell the springtime. The cold gray days of winter are over. I've mentioned just a few Easter symbols. I'm sure in your traditions you have many more. All these symbols are not meant to give us sensory overload. These rich images are our way to join the church in saying, we are Easter people. We are people of hope. We can be people of hope because of our faith, because of our certainty 
that Christ has conquered sin and death once and for all. Through our baptism, we share in the resurrection. We are resurrection people here and now. We await with confidence eternal communion with God, the Father, Son, and Spirit. So take in and enjoy the sights and sounds, the tastes and touches and smells of Easter. Let them express the inexpressible. Christ is risen. He is truly risen. In Him we hope. In the Gospel, we have the experience of the empty tomb as a sign of Jesus' resurrection to life. The, the women find the stone moved away from the entrance of the tomb. And then when they entered, they didn't find the body of Jesus. Instead, they're met by two men who, who ask them why they're looking for the living one among the dead. They say once again that, that, that he has been raised. The Jesus that they're looking for it is the Jesus that lived among them. The Jesus who cured the sick, loved the unlovable, and showed compassion to all God's people. The, the Jesus who inspired the saying, WWJD, what would Jesus do? A great model for us to base our lives on. But, but the resurrected Jesus, the resurrected Jesus is so much more. W-I-J-D. What is Jesus doing? Jesus acts in our lives as he guides us. He strengthens us and helps us to follow his example. Luke's gospel that we've been reading from this year tells us about the earthly Jesus. In Luke's second volume, the Acts of the Apostles, we hear about the resurrected Jesus. Jesus who lives forever. We hear what he's doing in the lives of his disciples and of the church. The resurrected Jesus is the eternal presence of the one who walked in Galilee and who died on the cross in Jerusalem. Finally, the women are sent to tell Peter and the other disciples the good news, the, the news that Jesus had risen and would see them in Galilee. And so these women were the first witnesses of the resurrection. And they're, they're sent, they're put to work almost immediately. They're sent to proclaim the good news. The gospel readings during the Easter season tell us about the apostles' encounters with Jesus after the resurrection. We're, we're told that they recognized Jesus every time in the breaking of the bread. Every week, after we affirm our Christian faith, after we affirm our life in Christ, we approach the altar and we recognize our risen Savior in the breaking of the bread. We pray today that, that as we celebrate the new life of Easter, we will be nourished, we'll be strengthened to live out our baptismal promises, to be Christ for others, to proclaim through our symbols, our words, and especially our actions, that Jesus the Christ has risen from the dead and that this same new life is also ours. During the Easter season, it's, it's a tradition that we renew our baptismal vows. We acknowledge that we have died with Christ and we're to live with him forever. So now I'll bless holy water and then we'll renew our promises. Brothers and sisters, let us humbly beseech the Lord our God to bless this water he has created, which will be sprinkled upon us 
as a memorial of our baptism. May he graciously renew us, that we may remain faithful to the Spirit whom we have received. Lord our God, in your mercy be present to your people's prayers, and for us who recall the wondrous work of our creation and the still greater work of our redemption, graciously bless this water. For you created water to make the fields fruitful and to refresh and cleanse our bodies. You also made water the instrument of your mercy, for through water you freed your people from slavery and quenched their thirst in the desert. Through water, the prophets proclaimed the new covenant you were to enter upon with the human race. And last of all, through water, which Christ made holy in the Jordan, you have renewed our corrupted nature in the bath of regeneration. Therefore, may this water be for us a memorial of the baptism we have received, and grant that we may share in the gladness of our brothers and sisters who at Easter have received their baptism. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we not once renounce Satan and all his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Rejoicing in our Lord's resurrection, let us voice aloud our prayers and petitions. For the church, may Christ continue to bless her with all she needs to bring his love to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace and justice in our nations and across the world, may he who is risen dwell in the hearts of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For innocent people in Ukraine and around the world who have been harmed by violence or instability, may God bless and console them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle with loneliness, isolation, or despair, may Jesus, the divine physician, bring them comfort and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, 
May we be united in the hope and joy of faith on this Easter solemnity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, may they experience today the fullness of life in Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those prayers placed in our book of intentions, especially for the family and friends of our parishioners, both living and deceased, who are being remembered at this Mass, and for all those prayers and petitions held in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we offer these prayers to you through the intercession of your Son, Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our hymn during the preparation of the altar is at the Lamb's High Feast we sing. sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our name of all this holy church. Exalt with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken, a, taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, 
every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to a second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence 
we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, and William our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, power, and the glory are yours, yours now, now and, forever. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word 
and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Our communion hymn is sing with all the saints in glory. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that, renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's Passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia. Our recessional hem is This is the Feast of Victory.